Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with episode 15 of my Manchester United modded realism series. Here today we have the second last episode of season one and a title race is afoot. We're one point ahead of Spurs with two games in hand. However, Manchester City are hot on our tails. We have four matches, and they're going to be difficult ones. Chelsea, Everton, Arsenal, Southampton in the league will decide whether or not we are champions this season in the Premier League. We got knocked out of the Champions League embarrassingly in the round of 16 by Sevilla. However, there is a glimmer of hope. We have an opportunity to win the double in the FA Cup. Manchester City have already won the Carabao. So we're playing on the Realism mod, of course. Five is Realism mod. I'll put it in the description below, Fifer's Mod, if you guys would like to download it and play along with me. So here's the team. This is what we're going with. Um, I could bring Donny van der Beek back into the side, actually. I've been playing with Fred, but Donny's been out. The thing is, we dropped Donny for a bit because Fred was two overall ratings higher than him. And Donny, unfortunately, had a bit of an injury for a bit. So we'll bring him back into the fold. Rayner, Calvert-Lewin, Greenwood, Scott McTominay on the bench as well. And then Lindelof, James, Nunes, and Tuinzebi going into the reserves. So we have a match against Chelsea first up. It's going to be a difficult one because the thing is with Chelsea, right? We've had a really inconsistent run of form against them. We beat them at Stamford Bridge and they knocked us out of the Carabao Cup going on to the final and losing against Man City. Um... So, we need a good victory against them. We can't afford a loss. That's the major thing. A win or a draw will keep us afloat, though. So, looking at the team, um, I'm just trying to think. I think we should bring in Van Der Beek. Just talking about Chelsea. So, Van Der Beek. Just looking at the stats. Like, although Fred's higher rated and he's a left footer, I think Van Der Beek's just a better footballer. Maybe we need to move Fred on. Because... Yeah, we'll see how we go. I don't mind Fred. I usually move him on because you can usually get some really big offers for him. Raheem Sterling is the top goal scorer of the competition. Uh, should Chelsea play in that kit or should they play in their blue kit? No, the alternative one's clashing. Let's let them play in their blue kit. I, I like the Chelsea blue. The blues... Well, let's get stuck into Chelsea here today. Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea. They're a team wanting to break into the top four and cement their Champions League place. So, we desperately need a win here today just to give us a little bit of space in the Premier League. If you want to go and try and win it, a draw will be acceptable. But a loss could very well throw our, our title challenge in jeopardy. So Donny van der Beek is back into the side. And with your guys' comments and feedback and, and where we're sort of happening in the table, I think I've definitely got to do a season two. We need to correct that Champions League er error. Uh, Chelsea, good tackle there. Fernandez, can we push up? No. Because we want to try and win it. Because the way we're heading, we might only find ourselves... Look, if we realistically lose the Premier League, we might only win an FA Cup in our first season. Which is completely possible on this Ultimate Difficulty Realism mod. But only time will tell. Diaby, ball in. Zuma can't quite get to it. Chilwell. Chelsea always seem to play well at Old Trafford. Zuma. Yeah, so a point separates us between Spurs. Who would have thought? Ryan Mason's attacking, swinging Spurs would be a point behind us. Funnily enough, we've lost to Spurs twice this season. They have been our bogey side of season one. But already, I can probably plan ahead for season two. What players would you like me to sign, guys? Let me know in the comments. I think we need a new, a new goalkeeper. Fernandez here now. 
Can't break away straight into the path of Thiago Silva. Maybe, like, like if this was, like, ultimate team, I'd pick someone like Donnarumma, to be honest. So, who's, like, a young, like, next-level goalkeeper? Onana, maybe? I feel like Henderson just isn't high enough rated, although I like him. That's a really good back heel by Fernandez here now. And Thiago Silva is just dominating the United front line. We could bring in another centre-back. Because we just simply ran out of money. Bay and Jules Kunde have been quite good. So maybe a left-footed centre-back might open things up. Bay comes in there. Forward line in wingers, I am really quite happy with. We could move on Dan James and just get someone better. Maybe like a, a Bailey from the Bayer Leverkusen Leon. Timo Werner now. Jules Kunde gobbles that one up, and United want to try and quickly counter-attack. Come on, Fernandez! Come on, guys, go forward, go forward. Erling Haaland sees the run of Pogba. Pogba looking to go over the top to Rashford, but he doesn't. Fernandez chops. One Basaka bombs it into the box. Finds the head, unfortunately, of a Chelsea faithful. Midfield, we're, we're good. It's just personal preference. Players coming in and out. Because I think my forward line is probably the best. Ball over the top. Hakim Ziyech. Like, we've got Diaby. He's our right-sided man. But maybe we're better off just biting the bullet and bringing in someone like a Sancho. I don't know. Hakim Ziyech. Ball in. Whips it into the box. Kai Havertz scores. At the Stratford end, would you believe it? We go a goal down to Chelsea. We have not started off well in this match. We've created one or two chances, but we haven't had a clear cut like Chelsea have there. Uh, I don't know what to say about this series, guys. <laughs> this, so far, is going to end in tears and ruin. The toys have well, well been thrown out the pram by me. And... Kai Havertz scores his first goal of the competition. I kind of don't believe that. This is episode 15. <laughs> Stay tuned for episode 16 coming out tomorrow, though. Because we're not going to be able to wrap up all those results here today. We'll play against Everton, but we're still going to play against Arsenal, Southampton, and... Obviously, the final with City, because that's all the matches we have left. So, it's going to be an action-packed episode. Yeah, yeah. tomorrow's the finale. Yeah, episode 16. Crikey. Fernandez. Oh, we'll run a bit of a run there, ref. You can't blow the whistle there. But Chelsea lead one goal up, which... We've got a couple games in hand, which is okay. But it just puts the pressure on us massively. Like, a loss would be detrimental to our season. And after scoring the opening goal for Chelsea, Kai Havertz gets rewarded to be dropped off. I feel like this Chelsea's team's a little bit exhausted. Because they had the Carabao Cup final. They did quite well. I think they are out of the FA Cup, actually. Yeah, they, were. they got knocked out by City, didn't they? And they're well and truly out of the Champions League. Getting knocked out in the quarters. We just need to wait for a good run here. Pogba's holding up the ball well. Where? Why is no one making good runs? Pogba. Fernandez turns. Oh, of course. Of course, Chelsea's goalkeeper, Mendy, is a newfound man. Uh, Erling Haaland with the header. Mendy, like, honestly, this season in real life, that save against... I guess it was Madrid, wasn't it? Yeah. That backhanded save was insane. Like, you have to be quite a special and an exceptional footballer to save so many attempts against a player like Karim Benzema, in my opinion. Pulisic now. Chelsea. They beat us earlier in the season 1-0 with a Timo Werner goal in the Carabao Cup. Hopefully they don't do the same here. We have beaten them this season, though. 2-0 at Stamford Bridge. Pogba wins it back. 
Diaby. United looking to go away against Chelsea. Uh, as for the Kuwaita. Ball goes wide. Ticello for Fernandez. Get out of here, you freak. Rashford. Fernandez. <laughs> Nearly went in and got a red. A second yellow. He's already picked up a red this season, actually. A little bit of fiery and fury Fernandez. He does have the devil a little bit about him. And we go away to Goodison Park next week. Which it could decide our season. Which is awkward as hell because we did, of course, sell Cavani to them for the player plus cash deal for Dominic Calvert Lewin. I would imagine he's probably going to start for them. Cavani had a good season scoring five or so go goals for us before moving on in January. I would have loved to keep Cavani, but. We needed him at the club when he was 28, 29, not when he's 34. Ball in. Timo Werner can't get to it. United really need to capitalise from this squandered opportunity. Van der Beek, Fernandez to Erling Haaland. Pogba coming up to receive it. Uniting. United surging players forward. And it's the Chelsea back line once again to hold firm. They have been on such a fantastic run. Since Thomas Tuchel came. I have a soft spot for Chelsea. Maybe growing up, if Chelsea won more titles and had... Oh my God. Had a couple more players like Ronaldo. I could have very well been a Chelsea supporter, to be honest. I just grew up watching United more. Such a basic international fan thing. Oh my God, wide there. But my introduction to European football was United. Calvalu and James Green were coming on and they tend to come down to Australia quite a bit. Both these sides. But it's probably a split between people my age who are in Australian between Chelsea and United. Arsenal as well. Whoa, Pogba nearly killing that one in. Top right. Ah. <sighs> But I have been to Old Trafford. I've only seen one football match in real life. I've done the museum tour. And the game I scored, uh, watched was... It was West Ham, wasn't it? James, though! Oh, he saved it in the death! 1-1! Chelsea looked gutted because that could be their Champions League campaign gone. Fresh off the bench, Dan James... <laughs> after talks of potentially moving him on has come up with a goal there nice one to pass he just had to go for it I, I tried to pass it on to um, Dominic Calvert-Lewin but it actually just played well for him I can't believe he's converted that 1-1 one, one, actually in the death in the 90th minute we share the points so we get more of a bit of a cushion against Spurs and that's his first goal of the season <laughs> He's yet to score one. Yeah, um, it was the same. It was it was West Ham at Old Trafford um, versus United. Van Persie and Wayne Rooney scored in that match. But 1-1 against Chelsea. We've beaten them once this season. We lost in the cup, but now we've drawn against them. Oh my God, that was too close. So, we're still two points ahead with a game in hand. Man City third, Liverpool fourth. I can't believe that Arsenal... Are Chelsea could miss out on European football. So, even if we win, I don't think we can mathematically win the league just yet. Wolves are in seventh now. Leicester eighth. Yeah, Chelsea... Just drop to the deck because they think European football is probably out for them next season. Oh, not good enough there for Tuchel. So Spurs play Chelsea. They could have a harder run than us. They play West Brom. Hmm. 
It's going to be interesting. Anyway, we go to Goodison Park to face a front line of Bernard, Edison Cavani, and James Rodriguez. My God. If a fantastic ball over the top from James Rodriguez finds Cavani, I'm going to be spewing. <laughs> Dominic Calvert-Lewin. We'll give him a run a little bit later in the match. But away at Goodison Park. Must win for United. We drew against Chelsea, which is fine. But a win we really need here today. Because we've lost against Arsenal a lot. <laughs> we haven't played against Southampton. We simmed against them. I think we drew. Maybe we won. I can't remember. We definitely didn't lose against Southampton in the simulation. The kickoff is underway. Oh my god. The way we're at it, it could get decided by the Arsenal match. Oh, we're starting off well here. Rashford on the inside. Uh, did get the shot away. Erling Haaland drops back. Squares up Fernandez. Shoots straight at Pickford. Puts it wide. United looking to just blitzkrieg them here. Ball in. Rashford. Pickford can't quite get there. Yeah. He got to it. He spoiled it just only as far as Alan. Luke Shaw comes up to contest him. Just gets burned. But drops back and wins it. Never forgive. Never give up and never Lorette, um, relent. <laughs> Shaw. And you'll come off better nine times out of ten. So it's only two points that separates us and Spurs. Could you believe it? Spurs in second. They could potentially bottle it. <laughs> Cavani beats Jules Kunde. Great ball over the top to Davies. Doesn't get enough juice on it. And I think it's offside from Cavani in the end. We need to capitalize on it. Pogba. Nice short pass to Van der Beek. Davies comes out with the interception. The new number nine is just spraying passes left, right and center. Good ball from Cavani and Bernardo gets beaten by Kunde and United back at it again. Fernandez Pogba launches it forward to Marcus Rashford on the left. He cuts back. Rashford! Oh man, I should have taken uh, a couple more steps further forward. We might have got a better shot in on that. A familiar face. Yeah, I, mess I mentioned Cavani before. I messaged him. That's what I nearly said before the match. But they're playing Dominguez in goal. A pretty good player. Oh, Bay. Had him in my Spurs career mode this year, I think. Yeah. Oh, my God. Erling. Just had to snap at that one. Nearly put it into the back of the net. We go again. Pogba now. Whips it into the box. Rashford. Kunde. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh. Sometimes they go in. Sometimes they can sneak through. It was a good block. We go again. We just need a goal, man. Everton have been passing quite well. Particularly their through balls look quite deadly. But we need to score here. We can't let it to another 90th minute James winner. I can't believe that Chelsea nearly won it for them. Spurs. Anyway, Erling's here. He's won it back. He's got a shoot. Bottom left. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Erling Haaland makes it 1-0 against Everton. That's what, that's what we needed. Won it back in a dangerous area. The Norwegian flies forward and puts it into the bottom left. Cool, calm, and collected. I could have gone with the right, but hits it with his... Yeah. Hit. Could have gone with the left. Hits it with his right foot into the bottom left. 23rd goal of the season. I could have gone with his left into the bottom right. But I thought it would be a little bit predictable. But we're 1-0 up. That's the exact result we want and needed. And United want to go again here. Diaby, Van der Beek. Let's go. Come on, boys. Fernandez, Good pass by me. Pogba. Rashford. From range. Oh. Imagine if that went in, man. 
Good finesse. Oh, that would have been spectacular from Rashford. Pickford with a top-notch save. Oh, I'd love sometimes for those long shots to go in. That was a beauty. Good header. Goes over the bar. Pickford, Everton, trying to bring it out from the back. Carlo Ancelotti wants his boys to go forward, but they just keep on losing possession to United. Fernandez, Erling Haaland, plays it to Pogs, and we lose possession. Oh my god, these diagonal balls. What is this nonsense? Bernardo, back to Everton. Davies, Cavani, James, James. It's James. I've been saying James so much this season with, obviously, Dan James, Danny Boy, Van der Beek, sure, I'd l honestly, if Cavani went to Everton in real life, I'd love that, I'd love him to be still in the Premier League, under good old Carlo, was he ever, did it, did Cavani ever get managed by Carlo? No, maybe not, there might have been a time when they crossed over. I don't think so, though. But 1-0. After a 34th minute Erling Haaland goal. We lead Bernardo. Davies. Gomez. Uh, what? You can't be doing this, guys. Letting that type of crap in. Look at that, man. Gomez. Andre. Scores his third of the comp. Maybe it's David De Gea. I don't know, guys. You've been watching this career series more than me. Where are the fault lines in my team? Sometimes, as a content creator... You can get a little bit tunnel visioned with your team inside. Like, where are we? Who's stuffing up the most? Who's the culprit? Who needs to be sought, sold, and who needs to be bought? Diaby now. That's a pen, but whatever. That's a second pen. Are they going to give it? Cavani goes off now anyway. I think we need a better goalkeeper. That's a definite. Richarlison comes on. Why to the left? And maybe we need a better output by Rashford and Diaby. We'll bring on Calvert-Lewin. We'll bring on James. And we'll bring on Greenwood. We need a win. We, we can't afford another draw. Because that could put Spurs in front. We need a win. We need to go for this. We drew against Chelsea. We can't afford to not win here. I don't even know what to say. We might have just lost the Premier League with that goal. Hammers Rodriguez fires it in the 60th minute. Beats one, beats two, puts his laces through it. And David De Gea concedes an absolute shocker. 2-1. Have Everton. Just given. Spurs the league. We just got to go for this. Greenwood. Just needs to get the precise ball in. He's going to play it a little bit slow. Fernandez, back to Greenwood. Dominic Calvert-Lewin turns his man. It's fallen to... There's a foul, man! This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. We might have lost. No. Sure. James, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, blocked. Bay back to Pogba. We just need to send Dominic Calvert-Lewin through. He's turned his man! Mm. That was it. That was a golden opportunity. Pogba ball in. Bouncing. Van der Beek. Fernandez. Pogba. Pogba. Out. A goal kick for Everton. Bernardo comes off. Awobi comes on. you got to give it to Everton. They do have a lot of decent squad depth. And 
Tottenham go up late against West Brom. That could put them in front. Ball in. Rodriguez. Richarlison. Pogba. United. Need to go forward now. A good ball to Dan James. Scored the equaliser against Chelsea. Can he get another miracle for us? Put it out for a corner kick, man. Fernandez whips it into the box. Calvert Lewin! Pogba, please, man. On the outside! Oh, Dominic Calvert Lewin, no! Traitor against his former side. Oh, my God. Pogba actually hit it so sweetly on the outside of his boot as well. Far out, man. Oh, I think we lost. Oh, this is gross, man. Come on, win it back. I need something far out. There we go. Now go. Fernandez. One nice one-two pass. There we go. That's some better space. Please, Calvert Lewin, finish this. Oh, he's rifled again. He's rifled it in against his former side. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit shook after that. <laughs> okay, we've left it. We've kept the title alive. It's taken a dominant Calvert Lewin goal against his former side. He knows how much that means to him because he could win a Premier League in his first season there. Two-two, sixth goal of the comp. United might have saved our title hopes. 2-2 draw, we can work with that. We can work with that. Dominguez at the back to Alan. Shaw coming up. No, 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 no. Go back, go back. No, 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 no. There we go. Sometimes the best form of defense is attack. Ah! Just like bomb it up there. Fire out. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Hang on! Greenwood! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, that is probably the goal I've... That's the best goal I've scored in FIFA. That is the best goal I've scored in FIFA. <laughs> what a match. That's why you got to show full extended highlights, man. Have we won the league? <laughs> After being 2-1 down, we've snapped two mental goals. Greenwood breaks away and scores his third. It was the header from Dominic Calvert-Lewin that was exceptional. Have we gotten two goals in six minutes there? Everton lose 3-2. The scenes at Goodison Park. I'm going to let... The celebrations go on a bit. No, I don't. It hasn't kicked in, but everyone is ecstatic. Wowee. So, that means mathematically now we can. I think if we win against Arsenal in episode 16 coming out tomorrow, we can lift the trophy. If we draw that or lose it, we've still got a match against Southampton we need to play. 14 shots to 12. Yeah, we deserve three goals. We deserve to win that. Pickford with seven saves. Absolutely mental. But I'm going to wrap up today's video here. Thank you very much for watching. So, what were the other results there? Liverpool beat Aston Villa 2-0. City win 3-1 over West Ham. Spurs win 1-0 over West Brom. Yeah, so they could have seriously um, lost it as well. So they win and they keep... Ch uh, Chasing us. Leicester and Wolves fighting for that seventh place. Oh my god, what an upset. At Stamford Bridge, Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea lose 2-1 to Newcastle. To Newcastle. Up at the tune. Um, yeah. I'm kind of surprised how bad Chelsea are playing, to be honest. But to be fair, Kai Havertz has only scored one goal in this career series. No European football. 
Maybe we can poach some Chelsea players next season. They're not going to have the Champions League money. Maybe if they put some players up on the transfer list, we might be able to snatch some. But without further ado, I'm going to end episode 15 here. Stay tuned for episode 16 coming out tomorrow. Thanks, guys. And I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code Simpsy Total War on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.